First question is from Land3 Emma. What are the physical and mental signs of overtraining? This is a good question because if you're really uh, dedicated to working out, if you're really into it, if you're a fitness fanatic and you love it, it gets easy to ignore the signs of overtraining mm -hmm. until they get really, really loud. Okay, Because if you love working out, you probably love the struggle, the pain, the sweat. Getting sore probably doesn't bother you. So when you, that gets worse and harder, it's like, oh, good. I'm just going to push harder. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. Just got to barrel through it. And so it's important to identify these signs and signals because what you don't want to do, here's what overtraining can do. It can actually not only halt progress, but actually start to uh, you start to go backwards. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done this to myself many times where I keep going, keep going, keep going. Not only did I stop progressing, but I started to go backwards in my strength and in my stamina. And, and once you get to that point, it's hard to come out of it. So some of the, here's some of the easiest signs for me, okay? Um, lingering uh, achiness and stiffness in my joints. That's a big one. Yep. So where you feel like strain, muscle strain, like the insertion point of my pec or my, you know, my brachioradialis muscle or, you know, areas like that where, you know, they kind of just, they don't seem to, to get better. They're just kind of always lingering. And then I got to warm up more and stretch them more before my workouts. Mm -hmm. So that's a big one. The other one is, and this one is, this one is pretty consistent with, for me at least, and for, for a lot of clients I've trained, uh, I start to get crappy sleep. I start to, I, I'm exhausted and tired but I get that restless sleep where you you wake up a lot throughout the night or you toss and turn and you can't just get into that deep sleep and then you wake up even more fatigued. That was a clear one for me. Sometimes I think this is actually h harder for the advanced lifter. Sometimes I think that like to your point of you know, you've been you've you've trained through soreness, you've trained through a tired day, you've trained through a day where you didn't get very much sleep and then you felt better after you trained. And so you've been conditioned to, you know, push through. No days off, right? I mean, that's a, a, a you know, popular hashtag and you see it on social media all the time. And so I I think it's actually harder mm -hmm. for somebody who's advanced sometimes to read some of these signals because of that. I think uh, you know a subtle one that is hard to really catch for a lot of people is a, like a real hard plateau in your training, where you you're not progressing anymore, or you may even see like you go into the gym and you were weaker this week than you were the week before, and some people just kind of chalk that up as oh it's I'm off today or it wasn't a good day or whatever, but that could also be a sign that you probably need to rest a little bit more or feed a little bit more or mm -hmm. pay attention to what your your sleep is or pay attention to the volume of your training. Um, the other, the, the one for me that I, the, the, that I, the two that I like kind of watch the most is like when I'm, I, and I, cause I do it a lot still is overreaching. Uh, I did it a little bit, uh, today. I'm like, I'm, my low back is sore, way more sore than it, it should be. Why did you push too hard? Because did you work out with someone? I worked out with Doug, dude. Was, <laughs> you worked out with the beast. Don't be fooled by that guy, dude. Doug, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's, he's the ever living. Yeah. I just, you know, I, I made the mistake of like, Doug's like, are you going to use the the, the platform? And I say, Doug, I'll just do whatever you're doing. You just, you, you, <laughs> oh, big mistake, yeah. bro. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he starts stacking the plates on him. Like, oh, oh this snap. motherfucker today. Yeah. Right? So, he's just jumping right? up. So I can't, and after I commit, I can't back out and be like, oh, go ahead, take one of those off of yeah, me. Yeah. yeah so. You're the traitor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> Can't do that, yeah. You know? So, yeah, no. So I'm paying, but that's just it, right? A classic example of I overtrained. I did not need to either lift as much weight as as Doug was doing for that, or as many reps as I was doing. I could have done maybe you know half of that and probably got just as good of a workout for myself. So those are the, the that's yeah. the first one, and then the other one is you you said is the achy joints. When I was training uh heavy and hard and uh, and consistent like you know five to seven days a week every week uh the first thing that would always t let me know that i was train over training was my joints my, my knees my elbows you know battling that stuff all the time i felt like i was beginning to spend as much time trying to recover from that you know doing deep tissue massage doing all these mobility drills and stuff because everything was aching putting myself back together just so i could go hammer to get in the gym and really, if I just scale back a bit on the volume or the intensity, I could really solve that. And a lot of times for advanced lifters, uh, it's because you're staying in a phase too long. Mm -hmm. You know, you could be you could be overtraining that way of training for too long of a period of time. And one of the best things you can do is just transition 
out of that and give your body a different signal. Well, also to tie in kind of what you guys both are saying, like all those factors for sure, but uh, energy and motivation uh, sort of like ties that all in together for me. And I pay attention to that in terms of what I'm bringing into each workout. And, and I never used to really care so much about that going into workouts because I was in that mentality of like, I'm going to do this by hell or high water, regardless of like how my body feels or, you know, whatever it is, it's like a mental discipline thing more than anything. And that would mask a lot of these signals that my body was telling me, you didn't get enough sleep, you overreach, you're too sore. Uh, you know, all these factors, you have joint pain, uh, you know, that all plays into uh, really realizing that um, you, you can you can get to a place where you charge up, you get more energy after you work out going into the next day. And I didn't really know that was a thing until I started to pull back the intensity and really scale that to find what the appropriate amount was specifically for me. Uh, and, and that just changed the game that changed the whole environment for me in terms of like, uh, you know, getting gains, but also like breaking through plateaus and then going, you know, even further than I've ever been before. 